Good afternoon to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Today I thought I'd uh, have a little chat with you about uh, British made machines. Now, there aren't many British made machines. In fact, the two you see before you are the only ones I can think of. Most British made machines like HMV Columbia are really American designs and American parts adapted in this country. And most other British machines are in fact made from Swiss spare parts or you know, basically assembled from Swiss or other continental spares, but these two are not. The one on your uh, left it looks like a record box. It is in fact something rather more interesting. Let's move this rubbish out of the way. It is in fact a Robert's Best Tone, or Best Tone. There you go. I have to hold the lid open for you a moment. The other one here is called an FTA machine. That stands for Fixed Tone Arm. Now, I bought that on eBay. I saw it on there and thought, I don't know, I don't know what it is. And then amazingly, another one turned up in America. A complete one. This is not complete, viewers. It should have a leather case which fits over the top of it and then is strapped on with straps. Also, here, a folding mahogany horn should actually fit on to amplify the sound. So we're not complete with this one, but only two in existence. And the other one is different in that it has a patent plate on the front there. Whereas this one doesn't, but it is an FTA machine, fixed tone arm. It's called a fixed tone arm because the tone arm, uh, amazingly, is fixed. That goes there, and it has a rubber extension piece here. So the tone arm is fixed. It plays across the record. Now, I've been led to believe uh, that these are probably about 19... 12, 14, that sort of period. It's made of solid teak, this example. I have a cabinet version as well. But the Fabrizio and Paul books, those wonderful American books, say that these were actually patented around 1908, thus making them the very first portable gramophones. So we shall see. Now this is most unusual, this one. The other one has its uh, wooden horn, but this one has this horn as well. Let's have a look. Yes, there we go. Except, as you can see from the strange horn, the strange way that it's constructed, it is in fact a recording horn. And thus you could have recorded onto blank discs with it. German chap won't have that, but that's what it is. Right, I'll show you the motor actually from here, because that's interesting. It's unique in uh, design. So if I just uh, see if I can get that turntable off. There we go, single-handed. Well done, you Colonel. Right, as you can see, two very long... That's a stop-start, which is a dead stop-start, ideal for when you're recording, and the speed control. Right, if I can lift up... It's awfully heavy, because as you see, a unique type of motor. And there's the, the cast aluminium horn there. As you see, absolutely astonishing motor. And it's... there we go, dead stop-start. Right, let's put it back together and play your record. And that's it. We're going to play Are, Are We Downhearted? That's it. Right, let's push that in the way. quite enough of that, don't you viewers? Right, now we go on to the Robert's Best Tone, as you see, cast into the top there. Now this is a wholly British design. Extraordinary, really. I'll just try and get a record out. There we go, you can have a look at that. You get a, two or three records in the base of the thing, but not too many. There we go. And hopefully I've wound it up. Now the tone arm locks the handle in place. I'll move that out of the way. Get to the handle. It's a Garrard motor. 
so as I say, holy, I think these are 923, oh that's fully wound, that's jolly good. Now, as you see, rather peculiar. Is that where the sound comes from? No, viewers, that's where the motor is, and space for about three records, although it will take 12-inch records. Now, I'm very fortunate that with this m particular machine, I got the original needle tin. As you may see there, there we go, best tone needle tin. Right, to play a record, well, that's relatively simple. All you've got to do, well, I've got to do here, release the brake, move the ta tone arm there, let it speed up a bit, now the whole internal construction is of cast aluminium. The whole motorboard and supports and the horn and everything is cast aluminium for lightness, but even so it's still quite heavy because of the motor. Anyway, here we go. Now, you have to play with the lid down. quite enough of that. That's it. There we go viewers. The Robert's Best Tone only plays with the lid shut and looks like a, a record box when it's closed. <laughs> so a couple of very unusual portables or sort of portable machines anyway. Thank you viewers and goodbye.